Yo guys, what is going on? It's Luca here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going through three of the best MP7 classes in Modern Warfare. Now, I'm going to be doing this with pretty much every single weapon in the game. Once I get them to max level, I'm going to be making a video on three of the best weapons. Instead of just having one uh, class in each video, I'm going to be uh, like spicing it up a little bit and I'm going to be giving you guys three classes that I recommend you guys using instead. So make sure to leave a comment down below of what weapon you guys would like me to cover next and I'll go ahead and do so. I do have um, quite a lot of weapons at max level already so I will be able to cover quite a lot of them. Um, but yeah, just leave a comment down below of which weapon you guys would like me to cover next and whichever comment has the most likes or whatever, I will go ahead and make a video on it. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get into it. So the first one on this uh, uh, video is going to be kind of a stealthy mp7 class so of course i'm going to put a suppressor on it and all of that kind of stuff but yeah um in this video i've got a stealthy class i then have a very very overpowered class which is probably my favorite class in the whole entire game at the moment and then after that i have a kind of like super safe class with like just stuff to make you die less and all that kind of stuff anyway the next the first thing i like to have on this class is going to be the lightweight suppressor i really recommend using this one it's my favorite suppressor in the game to be fair just because it does exactly what a suppressor should do and it doesn't really have too much cons on it if you look at all the other suppressors they have a bunch of cons on them and it makes your weapon a lot slower and it's just really not that nice so i just if you guys are going to put a suppressor on it i recommend you guys using the lightweight one next of all i'm going to be using the tack laser this makes me aimed outside speed faster aiming stability quicker and it also makes my aim walking steadiness um like quicker so i really do recommend you guys sticking on a laser sight laser sights in this game are actually very very underrated to be fair because this tack laser has literally so many good pros to it and the only con to it is like just something little like it doesn't really matter about the con at all so i really recommend you guys sticking that on the next attachment I like to use is the Forge Tack Ultra Light Stock and this basically makes the aim walking movement speed quicker as well. So when you are aiming in, you guys are going to be moving around a little bit quicker and if you do this while strafing left to right then it will be really really good because you guys are going to be able to avoid the enemy's bullets and you guys will win a lot more gunfights by doing this. The next one is going to be the Under Barrel Commando Foregrip. This this increases my recoil stabilization and it makes my aiming stability a lot better so i do recommend you guys giving that a go the next one is the 60 round magazines because of course who the hell does not want to have 60 bullets on their weapon 60 bullets is insane for an smg so i really do recommend you guys using it now the next thing on this class i like to use is going to be a pistol now of course you guys can use whatever pistol you guys want to and you guys can use whatever attachments you guys like to as well but as this is a stealth kind of class, um, I recommend you guys, of course, sticking a suppressor on it and then all the other attachments are just kind of whatever you guys want to. But I do have a barrel on it. I do have a like um, trigger that makes me fast uh, shoot faster and like a sight on it and stuff like that. But the attachments are completely up to you. Anyway, onto the perks, I like to use double time. Double time makes me a sprint um my sprint lasts longer which is very very nice um and obviously if you're going to be stealthy uh, then sprinting quickly for a longer time is very very nice um the next thing i like to use is going to be ghost so i can stay off the minimap whenever they have a uav or any of that kind of stuff because it is very very frustrating when they have a uav and your position is revealed and then finally perk three is going to be the tracker perk which in my opinion is actually a very very good perk because basically you can see people's footprints um from behind and then you can basically follow them sneak up on them and they do not know that you're there and it's very very good in my opinion the lethal is going to be a throwing knife and then the tactical is going to be a smoke grenade just to make it more a, just that little bit extra stealthy um now this next class which is going to be the class number two in today's video is going to be my go-to overpowered as hell mp7 class like this it, like i'm lost for words like this class is absolutely insane i'm not exaggerating but trust me just give it a go and you guys will not regret it uh, the first attachment I like to use is a barrel attachment. I like to use the FFS Recon. It increases the damage range, the bullet's velocity, and it also increases the recoil control. So basically, you're going to be having extra um, 
extra range on your weapon and you're also going to be able to control your weapon a lot better. Um, the next thing I have is no stock. This basically increases the movement speed and it also makes the aim down sight speed a lot faster which is very very good. The quicker you can be with the weapons it's going to be very very good. Um, most of these attachments if you realise um, all of the pros for these attachments that I like to use basically make the gun a little bit quicker in different ways so this one makes the aim down side speed quicker and it also makes your sprint to fire speed a lot quicker too and then I like to use the 60 round magazines because why the hell would you not want 60 bullets in one magazine like that's just an insane amount of bullets especially on an SMG so you guys are going to be absolutely melting with this class. The next attachment I like to use is the commando foregrip it increases my recoil stabilization and my aiming stability so that's just gonna it's just gonna make my accuracy really really good with this weapon. Um, I found when using this weapon that my accuracy is just amazing, um, like it's one of the best weapons to have a good accuracy with and uh, it's just so fun to use, I absolutely love this weapon. Um, the, the next thing I like to use on this class is going to be of course a secondary, now whatever secondary you guys want to, doesn't matter what you use, but it is actually very good to have a secondary, I do see a lot of people not even putting any attachments on their secondary, but trust me, you may as well put attachments on it because it, there, it doesn't take any class slots up so you may as well put them on because if you want to have bullets with your primary and you need to kill someone it's very helpful just to be able to switch to your secondary weapon anyway then the next thing i like to use is double time perk i like to use the kill chain perk and i like to use the battle hardened perk now the kill chain perk is actually very underrated in my opinion it basically makes your kill streaks count towards your next kill streak so if you get a VTOL, for example and you get like three kills with that weapon um i mean streak those kills that you got with the streak will actually count towards your next kill streak which is very very helpful and it's just it's just good to get a lot of kills with um and it's just easy as well it's very easy to get stuff like the gunship and stuff like that like if you want to get the top streaks in this game like the juggernaut and stuff then using kill chain is going to help you do that and you guys are going to be absolutely racking up those kills in every single lobby and then of course as you guys saw there battle hardened just so i don't uh be a like tacked all the time by all these flashbangs and all that and it blinds me so it's very helpful to have the battle hardened on and then i'll have a claymore and stim shot in the end the next class is going to be what i like to call like the super safe mp7 class so this is gonna counter streaks and all that kind of stuff so first of all of course it's the mp7 again and to be safe you are gonna have the suppressor on it just because it allows you to be more quiet and it's just more safe um so i do recommend you guys putting on a suppressor it's completely up to you what suppressor you use the next thing I like to use is the FFS Recon Barrel. Now, um, these um, put attachments that I use on this class don't really matter. You guys can use kind of whatever attachment you guys like to on this class. Um, but I'm basically using all the uh, attachments that make me have a better accuracy, that lets me be more quiet, and it gives me more ammo just to be that extra bit safe so my accuracy is going to be really good i'm going to have more ammo in case i get against more people and i'm going to be suppressed so people aren't going to know where i am and then i have a rocket launcher as my secondary to basically destroy all the score streaks in the map so if they ever get a uav or if they ever get a VTOL or any score streak at all i will always have a rocket launcher as my secondary to easily destroy the um destroy the streaks with now this class is basically just for like being super safe and not dying from stupid stuff such as uh, streaks claymores and all that kind of stuff as you can as you can see i have the eod perk on which is gonna let me survive from proximity mines claymores and all of that kind of stuff and it also lets me survive streaks a lot more easy as well and i have ghost on in case they get a uav and then i can obviously stay off the minimap when they have a uav in the air and then i have a battle hardened on in case they flashbang me or anything like that so this is basically what i like to call the super safe class like this is gonna help you basically raise your kd in my opinion because you're not going to be dying from stupid things such as claymores proximity mines score streaks and all that kind of stuff you're going to be hidden off the map you're going to have a rocket launcher to kill all of the streaks uh, that the enemies do call in and you're just going to end up dying a lot less with this class so that has been the three classes for this video hopefully you guys did enjoy this video a bit of a different video than my usual ones but i thought i would try this out and see how it does anyway Thank you so much for watching again. Make sure to leave a comment down below of what class or what weapon you guys would like me to cover next. And I'll go ahead and make a video on it. And I'll go ahead and share with you guys three of the best classes for that weapon. 
anyway thank you for watching and hopefully i will see you guys in the next video peace